Today we're going to be talking about communism and capitalism. Communism is a political theory derived from Karl Marx, advocating class war and leading to a society in which all property is publicly owned and each person works and is paid according to their abilities and needs. Capitalism is an economic and political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit rather than by the state. People are equal in a communist regime. People are treated equally in the eyes of the government regardless of education, financial standing. Every citizen can keep a job in a communist system. People are entitled to jobs because the government owns all means of production. The government can provide jobs for at least a majority of the people. Everyone in a communist country is given enough work. The positive aspects of capitalism is the economic freedom helps political freedom. If government, governments own the means of production and set prices, it invariably leads to a powerful state and creates a large bureaucracy which may extend to other areas of life. Efficiency firms and capitalist-based society face incentives to be affected and produce goods which are in demand. Economic growth with firms and individuals facing incentives to be innovative and work hard. This creates a climate of innovation and economic There's an internally stable economic system in communism. The government dictates economic structure. Therefore, economic instability is out of the question. Every citizen is required to work in order to receive benefits and those who do not have corresponding sections. This creates an incentive to participate and to encourage economic growth. Like Adam Smith said, no society can surely be flourishing and happy of which the far greater part of the members are poor and miserable. The bad aspects of communism is the government owns all the businesses and properties. This means of production. There is no freedom of speech and larger geographically broad populations tend to be diverse, making it difficult to maintain a common goal or set of rules for shared effort and resources. The bad aspects of capitalism is monopoly power. Private ownership of capital enables firms to gain monopoly power in product and labor markets. Firms with monopoly power can exploit their position to charge higher prices. Monopsony power, firms with monopsony power can pay lower wages to workers. Social benefit is ignored. A free market will ignore externity, externalities. A profit maximizing capital, capitalist firm is likely to ignore negative externalities such as pollution from production. Like Adam Smith said, no society can surely be flourishing and happy of which the far greater part of the members are poor and miserable. The real tragedy of the poor is poverty of their aspirations. Although Karl Marx said, let the ruling class tremble at a communist revolution. The proletarians have nothing to lose but their chains. They have a world to win, working men of all countries unite. In proportion, therefore, as the repulsiveness of the working increases, the wage decreases. We are for a communism country. Every citizen can keep a job in a communist system, and everyone in a communist country is given enough work opportunities to live and survive. Every citizen, however, must do his or her part for the economy to receive pay and other work benefits. Like this is better than a capitalist country.